Hello all, welcome to module six. Uh, this module is all about the movie paper. So you will be completing the movie paper. And so you're going to find a movie that you want and analyze, sorry typo on there, my bad. You can choose one that you have already seen or you can choose something you've never seen before. But just before you start watching the movie, read over the assignment, take some notes while, you, while you're watching the movie and then put it all together. So we're gonna go over the movie paper here right now. So you are going to, like I said, pick a movie and then answer these questions. And of course, you are not limited to just these questions. You are welcome to um, expand more on anything that you personally think is interesting. So we're going to describe a type of communication that you see a lot of in this movie. Intrapersonal, interpersonal, small group, organizational, public, or mass communication. So why did this type of communication in this movie interest you? How did characters use this type of communication? So what was their purpose in it? So why did this interaction take place? Why did they use this specific type of inf or specific type of communication to get their point across? Discuss the technology in the movie. How did this technology affect the communications interactions with each other? And sorry guys, I'm finding all these typos in here. Um, I'm gonna have to go and edit that. Um, would you have any advice for the characters on using uh, communication technology? I mean, obviously if you choose something like, um, I'm trying to think of a movie like set, you know, back in the medieval times, you know, they're not gonna have things like cell phones, um, but you would just have to say and say, you know, this movie, you know, does not use, you know, electronic communication. They use carrier pigeons or whatever. Um, choose one function or need of the communication and explain how a character uses communication to meet that need. And if you guys notice, there's all these readings and stuff attached to it. So if you're like, oh, I don't remember what that is, just go and click on it and it should take you straight to the readings. Um, the, ser the seven characteristics of competent communicators. Um, so you need to talk about how a character uses or actually doesn't use at least three of them. We have our different influences on perception. So choose one of those and discuss how you think it influenced a particular character's perceptions um, in regards to their self-concept or self-confidence, like their self-esteem. So listen carefully for a sentence you think should have been said differently with that context. So write down what the person said and then explain what you think they should have said and why. So why should they have reworded this sentence? And you know, it shouldn't just be, oh, well, because it was a cringe sentence to say, no, there should be a purpose behind it. Um, so give an example of how a character exemplifies the culture that they live in. So individual or collectivist. Talk about a character's co-cultural or subcultural groups and how they influence their communication or their behavior. And then analyze a character's use of powerless language. So what is the context that they use this powerless language? What should they have said? And then why do you think they were feeling powerless and using that type of language at that time? So that will wrap us up for module six. I'll go through and correct um, those couple typos and I will see you in the next module. Thank you.